Uh, good day to everyone. We are from LAX group number four, and today we are going to discuss on a topic called being bitten by pet animals. So let's start introducing ourselves. Hi, my name is Petrina M, metric number 171804. Hi, my name is Jayamani Kupusami, and my metric number is 175669. Hi, my name is Nurina Yudhumai, and my metric number is 175623. Hi, my name is Nitek Sia, my metric number 175649. Hi, my name is Umar Shantush Shantukam with the metric number 174212. Assalamualaikum and good evening. My name is Hidayatul Nadila with Bri Yasin. My metric number is 175089. So actually our topic was, I'll just read out our, our question that was, was given. Uh, ever wonder why being bitten or scratched by pet animals can lead to a number of serious health consequences? So that is actually our, our topic that was given to us. So let's discuss it. So maybe we can start off with like the common pet animals that we have. So do you have a pet, yeah? Yes, and it's a dog. Oh. <laughs> Which pet do you have? <laughs> I have a dog too. Anyone has? I have a cat. Anything else? Are you? Uh, I have a cat, but there's so many cats in my house. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Yeah, so. well, basically, I used to have dog to guard our farm, but then uh, it just died a few. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm so sorry for that. You must uh, be very sad. Oh, I have two dogs at home. Oh, two dogs. Okay, so maybe other pet animals also includes like hamsters, like hamsters, guinea pigs, guinea pigs, yeah. and what else? Haven't you you've been bitten or scratched by your own pet? Oh, not yes. Today I have scars. Today I have scars to do with. Yeah, every time I go back home, it tastes very roughy. Okay, so I can pick them up. Even if you haven't get scratched, you've been to awards. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure get scratched. Oh, yeah. yeah. But then, uh, during our what vacation, then there's one of our group mates that uh, she put the cat on the table and the behavior is good. But then suddenly the cat just jumped, so she had to hold the cat and while the cat is struggling and scratch quite deep on her arm. Oh. So, so what did she do? Uh, she just uh. For this that we cannot let go the cat, right? Yeah. So she just uh hold the cat until someone came and then uh after that after that um she could uh she that uh immediately went that wash the hands and put iron in and then go to school and she came from the shop. Okay. So if you know actually Getting bitten or scratched actually can lead to zoonotic diseases. So I think we should discuss some of the zoonotic yeah. diseases that we have. So for dogs, for example, what kind of disease do you have in dogs? But first of all, uh, does anyone of you know what is the Nice question. Yeah. Can someone explain to us? Yeah. Uh, zoonosis is basically diseases which can transmit. Oh, naturally being transmitted. Infections. Infections or infectious oh, diseases yes. that are naturally transmitted between from okay. I mean, vertebrate animal and man. Okay. Yeah. 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 So what are those foods? I know. Enlighten us. <laughs> I know the one is by ingestion. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Through ingestion oh. of contaminated substance like some uh, dirt, like soy, mm -hmm. yeah. or some maybe yeah, airborne. And I think even uh, even the bite and scratch also can yeah. cause uh, yeah. more emission of the True. I think you better go back. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. 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 So what? So what can I ask? I ask the question. <laughs> you already know what is the meaning of the disease. No, no. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I got confused. <laughs> so, from um, our topic today, we are talking about zoonosis, maybe caused by the uh, by, by thing. Yeah. 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 So, so, we mainly discuss on uh, transmission by biting through pet animals specifically. Yeah, yeah. So, what kind of disease can our dogs and our cats transmit to us? Recent outbreak. The recent outbreak is last year, right? So, I think it's about rabies for dogs. Yeah. So, okay. 
here, rabies is actually transmitted through the bite wound. The, actually, the virus, actually, the Zika virus, is uh, if the LSC, the animal bites you, it will travel through your muscles, right? Muscle, yeah. and then it will affect your central nervous system and also your peripheral nervous system. So it will cause like a uh, salivation for the human itself, salivation. Uh, you start having your nervous signs. Basically, yes. once being bitten, the pain, the, the region itself will be very painful compared to other kind of like bites. That's what I read. So it'll be like very inflamed and very painful. So you'll see a swelling over there. Yeah, it'll be, it will be very painful. It's fine. I think uh, those who infected with the rabies, they will also afraid of water, right? Uh, Hydrophobic, yeah. 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 So will you see all these clinical signs after uh, you got bitten by the rabbit dog? Oh yeah. You won't see it immediately. Uh, you see it like after if it travels, the, the virus travels to the central nervous system, then you see the disease. It's not, it does not appear, but your side, your right side will be inflamed. Now that what you see this now. Is that clinical oh. sign intermittent and then you can see the virus? Oh, it's quite different. I think it's almost it's similar. similar. Almost similar. But it's not exactly similar. Because like for dogs, you become more fierce and everything, but for humans, I don't think you're more fierce. <laughs> <laughs> you will be like, to be more fierce. Like, I think you're more restless. Yeah. 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 Just like you were saying, uh, a rabbit dog will become more fierce and more aggressive. So what kind of aggressive behaviour that uh, will you see in a rabbit dog compared to a normal dog? So in normal dogs, they usually come and greet you like normally. If, let's say a dog, a stray dog, or whatever, they come and normally greet you, it'll be okay, but uh, for like rabies dogs, sudden change of behavior. Like, yeah. Suddenly they calm and then suddenly they'll bite you. So you can really see a sudden change. Very so I think, uh, very I think they even had clothing, right? Yeah. Yeah. For dogs. Yeah. And actually, the, how fast we can see the clinical signs in humans depends on where the, the site, the site of bite is. Mm -hmm. Closer to the brain or closer to the head, then your signs will be faster. You get your nervous signs will be faster because the virus takes a shorter time to travel to the nervous, I mean central nervous system. Yeah. Yes. Any precaution? Usually, what like uh, what they do? Usually, first line of treatment. I think is vaccine. You have to vaccinate. Once you get bitten, you have to get vaccinated because yeah. you don't want the virus to travel with the central nervous system. Yeah. Because so, uh, when we were back in India, we had our practical set whereby if any animal itself is actually being bitten by a rabid animal, since babies can transfer to other animals, they actually give a uh, post infection vaccination. Oh. Post exposure vaccination, whereby they're just hoping that the vaccination will actually help for the animal to develop overcome it. and develop immunity towards it. So probably like what Uma said, you can start off with vaccination. I mean after cleaning the site of the injection and everything first. Yeah. But but then uh, as far as I know, that is not a definite uh, conformative yeah. way that you yeah. will cure baby oh, yeah, cancer. It's, it's, not, it's not. I think there's no cure for rabies. Once oh. you get rabies, mm. that's it. I think you can just treat this. Uh, before I read somewhere that uh, as long as it's not reached the CMS, then we can still give the treatment that they still had chance to, oh. to what, uh, yeah, overcome the disease. I think that's what I read before. Yeah. I think I can read this. Uh, I think what most important is that it, once we've been given like this and more suspected of the diabetes, maybe we have. Oh, yes. Some people, you know, like uh, people in the rural areas, they tend to use like herbal yeah. medicine. Okay. Yeah. You know, you just put uh, any kind of balm on top of it. It doesn't really treat the case. It might make it severe. <laughs> it's yeah. much more severe. So, I think a major issue is mostly you have to go to the vet. I mean, vet. Like, you, know, <laughs> you have to go to bring the dog, dog to the vet. <laughs> Since rabies was a big thing last year, especially, but uh, what can we do to prevent rabies in our own pets? I think if for pet animals, you should actually keep your pets at home. You shouldn't let it go freely roaming around with other stray dogs. You can so you should keep it in your house. If you have your own pet, and then you should also vaccinate your pet animal. Sorry, if you like it. I mean, you prevent it. 
first of all, uh, where is this source of rabies from? Oh, it's from the bats, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, because Malaysia is not endemic for rabies. Oh. So, where does this outbreak from? Do you know, Ayu? Uh, actually, like Jaya said, from I know, it's from the bats, but I, I'm not really sure what the name of the bat. <laughs> Can someone help me? I mean, I think what Susan is asking is, uh, where did the rabies come from? Which From which dog did it come into Malaysia? Or from, from which animal? Or from which country? Yeah. Oh, I completely forgot about it. Okay, maybe Pat can help. Because yeah. I'm not so sure as well. <laughs> Yeah, it's I think it should. I think it should. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
but it can be considered a limit. Oh, uh, so we have to be careful. Like, yeah. What is like a suspect? Uh, it's as for as for frequencies. Yeah. What will happen to humans? I think it's. I've never seen it. Yeah. I just know that the spores kind of yeah. comes into our body through contact contact, the spray to the skin, yeah, mm -hmm. goes inside. But I'm not sure what does it do. Does it also cause non healing wounds? Yeah. Yeah. Like some people when uh infect for the you also scratch your hand and that's how the host will not heal. So then you go to look the end of the so the spores will uh, will cause each host to our skin. Yeah, so I we tend to scratch. Also, I think uh, I think I've seen this case. Yeah, yeah. yeah. our friends. Oh, yeah. our friends. One of our friends. And he, she, uh, she had to take because for six months, I think they said before take the that medication. That is for the cat, right? Cats uh, no, uh, she she is is well. yeah, oh. I think uh, I think I heard from her before. But I think we can ask her this question. Yeah. So, by the way, anyone knows about? Uh, Maria's case very thoroughly. Maybe one of us can explain because oh. <laughs> <laughs> what I know is uh, Maria's cat has spore tri Yeah, uh, I, I don't know what what went on the case, oh. but I know a cat had uh, spore tri and then after that the cat kind of got better. It so it's enough. curable. Yeah, it's curable because we give pro, uh, treatment, treatment, treatment for a long period of time. Then oh. I think yeah, but she was caring for that cat like really really well. Yeah, she yeah. really went to all, I don't know, to all extent to just save the cat. Wow. Yeah, it, it was amazing because the cat already got the lungs infected with the sporotrix. So once your lung is being infected, the prognosis is very poor. Yeah, but then eventually with long-term antifungal medication, mm -hmm. eventually it got better. Yeah, it got better. Uh, I'm not really sure when when Maria had the fungal trichosis, I think she um uh, present with us or was absent. I'm not really sure. Oh, she did. She was. She did. Yeah, she's still Yeah, and there's been um sporo uh can be transmitted to humans. Okay. Perhaps by vaccine for vaccine. Yeah. So just the um avoid high precaution. Yeah, um, the people around you. But I remember she used to wear long sleeves, mm -hmm. and then you know she doesn't. She minimizes her actions, I think, <laughs> <laughs> because uh, she re kept kept reminding me, "You don't get too near with me because I'm having sporo. I mean, I might be infected with sporo." Yeah. yeah. So anyone knows about the precaution when we handle a sporo sporo tricks? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I think also sporo you only can disinfect using um if you want to use uh, chlorine, right? Yeah. Oh yes. You cannot disinfect using other other things like other yeah. disinfectants like soap powder. I mean that doesn't really work, you know. You only can use chlorine. So basically I think to avoid it. Then I think the basic idea is avoid getting bitten. Avoid getting bitten or scratched by your cat animal. Then you can you know, to prevent, like, how do you want to prevent being bitten? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we can have a good precaution like vaccine vaccine our cats. Uh, I think we should vaccine ourselves as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, because <laughs> Especially diseases like rabies, yeah, which is yeah. life threatening, and we as vet students, we should get ourselves vaccinated. So I think you should get vaccinated for rabies. Lepto! Yeah. Lepto, as but well as. Um, Tetanus. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Lepto, yes, today the doctor said in the class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't <laughs> yeah. yeah. you think all the zoonotic diseases come from animals and we should be? Vaccinated by all those loving diseases. Oh, if we are vaccinated, all of those we will be having bulges everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Probably what's endemic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's yeah. commonly found yeah. in, yeah. Our, yeah. in our country. Yeah, because I think uh, by giving vaccine, it's like forcing our body to be very mm. Oh, so it's even more dangerous. Yeah. And by the case we really need it, uh, we are really exposed to that environment. So, yeah, it's better. 
other foreign food that can be used to mitigate that disease. Um, so it's not just, uh, I think uh, we think we, we should get used to this, so we should get used to it. <laughs> so I think you also, you know, to prevent the things, I think we should like wash our hands, you know. Yeah. I think basic hygiene yeah. methods yeah. we should uh, practice in daily life as humans. Yeah. Yeah. Animals, I think. Uh, anyone else want to add on? <laughs> Maybe animals, like, just now, we must say one of the points, prevent contact, right? Uh, other animals? Yeah. Because since we cannot control the strays being vaccinated or not, so when we're gonna let our usually the problem is not with dogs usually because dogs are usually in the compound and everything. Cats, semi romans yeah, yeah. they don't like to be. It's not fair to keep uh, keep them in a confined environment because they're not used to it. So I think we need to be careful, but I'm not sure how we can prevent the contact. Avoid. Avoid. Uh, all those strays. Yeah. 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 Yeah.